If you're watching this video, you've probably already set up your account with Asset Tiger. You've also probably uploaded your assets. If not, take a look at the previous videos for a complete walkthrough. In this video, we'll talk about editing the details that are attached to an asset. To access your list of assets, click here on the left sidebar where it says List of Assets. You can also click here on the top of the page, either way. This list is easy to sort. Just click these arrows. Sort them by description, alphabetically or sort them Z to A. In this case, I'm interested in editing the asset with the ID tag A036. I can search for it here, or just look through the list now that it's sorted. And here it is. To see the details, I click View. This page gives you a ton of information about this laptop. I want to point out one function that I think a lot of users will appreciate. Under More Actions, pull down to Check Out. Keeping track of your assets and who has what has never been easier. In this example, Marco Salazar, one of our employees, has a laptop for an off-site project. I type his name in here. Select his name. And click Check Out. That status is reflected right here. Now, some of the details about this asset are incorrect, so I need to edit them. Click Edit Asset. The model is incorrect. The color is gray. This laptop was bought with money from the Infrastructure Fund, so I select that here. These funding categories can be really helpful. You can add information about funding here on the left under Advanced. I want to get specific about where this asset normally can be found, especially now that Marco has borrowed it. I can specify all that information right here. If you want to configure these categories, here's how you do it. On the left here, under Setup. And here we can plan for the depreciable cost of the asset over time. This is a huge help for insurance purposes, among other things, because you can figure out the exact value of your asset, or a group of assets, at any given time. So I fill in this section. We have several options for depreciation models, but straight line is the most popular. When you're done, click Submit, and you're all set. Let's take a closer look at some of the options in this set of tabs. Under Photos, you can upload a photo of your own, or choose from our stock images. Scroll through what we've got, or use the search box to find something specific. Under Docs, you can upload pertinent documents, like instructions or warranties. Click Add New. Find the file on your computer, and click Add. And there's still more that you can add. Keep tabs on a warranty under this tab. Type in the information to keep the data safe, or to set up an alert for when you need it later. Here's how to schedule maintenance. Click Add New. For this example, let's schedule a once a year appointment with IT to give the computer a service check. Let's say every June 1st. Schedule it for the future and make the appointment repeat yearly. Now that the maintenance is scheduled, you'll be alerted when it's time for that IT check yearly on June 1st. And under the History tab, you can see who changed what data and when. So if data is altered or deleted, there's always a clear record of who did it. And that's just a few of the options. Take a look around the site, and if you have any questions, just give us a call. You can find our contact information here, right under Help Support. We have a team of trained customer service reps ready to help you out. Don't hesitate to give us a call or drop us an email.